This is me doing Margot's makeup um, Oscars day when Mark was nominated for Itania. What I love most about makeup is that when someone has applied just the right makeup and they look in the mirror and there is this spark of like, <gasps> they know that they look like the best version of themselves in that particular moment, but there's a spark of like, <gasps> oh, I like what I see. And it feeds them with a confidence that's going to enable them to, to do whatever it is they have to do next, whether it's just go to work or whatever their work is, or to go show up on the world stage. These were the gemstones that I attached to Priyanka for the Met Gala this year. Is it in the right place? In the middle? Swarovski crystals. Wow. We don't mess around. Applied with lash glue to hold them on the face. That's the trick. Oh, this is Claudia Schiffer from the 90s. This was Bjork's big time sensuality video. Baby Britney. October 2005, June 2004. Oh, this was for your magazine. It was a beauty issue and me and Dakota. My first actress was Liv Tyler. I did Jennifer Connelly, Kirsten Dunst, Angelina Jolie. My biggest red carpet was with Naomi Watts. Charlize was great. She brought me into incredible Dior campaigns and I worked on a film with her, The Huntsman Winter's War with her. I think the bottom line is about first making sure that person feels great. Like, you know, treating it as like, what can I do to help support them so they can do all this stuff they have to do? And whether it's, uh, and it's hearing them, hearing what kind of mood they're in, and really just like making sure that you're not too much in their face but you're also a support person that if they glance, you're there, you catch it, you're there to help them. I was born in Germany and we left uh, Germany when I was uh, just a couple years old and then we moved to uh, New York and then New Jersey. We settled in New Jersey. I discovered makeup at 10 and I became really obsessed. And um, I would sit in front of my mother's makeup table and play and play and play. And then, and then I would start to do my friends and for school plays and dances. And I knew that the second I graduated high school, I needed to get to New York City and figure out how I could do that. So I moved to New York City, got a job right away selling makeup at a department store. And then I was ready to play. And like, I was painting faces of all these women, real life women customers all day long. And, um, and then I started assisting and I assisted, I think the very first person I assisted was Bobby Brown for a fashion show. And then I, I was really lucky to get invited to be on the, a very large team of Francois Nars. And Francois took notice of me at that show and asked me what I was up to. And, and at just at that moment, his first assistant had left him. And he invited me to come around the next day. And then I was with him for a year and a half as his, main, his first assistant. And he, Francois specifically, was an amazing teacher. He did one thing that was really interesting. He would do one side of the face, and then he would have me have to match the exact on the other side of the face. Another big thing that I was taught as an assistant, which is don't do makeup in a room that has bad lighting. Go to a window, go outside if you can. And Francois specifically taught me that if you do makeup in this natural light, no matter how it's being photographed, no matter if it's black and white or color photography or film or still or ba ba ba, if it looks good in natural light, it's gonna look good in every other environment. Hi! Hi. So great to see you. Yeah. Hi. Yay. I'm, I'm so happy, happy you came to play. Oh, of course. What's new? So many amazing things. Oh. 
You know we're all about the devices. Mm. The Glow Pro. Have you tried it? Not yet, but I think I might. It's Have amazing. To. What I think makes a great makeup artist, um, wow, there's so many things. I mean, you need to be incredibly organized, <laughs> organized, incredibly clean. How do you keep it clean? Um, you spritz it down with alcohol. Alcohol, just yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this a flashlight? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a flashlight, right? It's actually an LED light that's geared towards acne. Oh, that's It's great. a high-tech spot treatment. And I believe a great makeup artist is also someone who um, really cares about the person in front of them. Because then you're giving makeup and you're, you're, in, you're, you're sharing makeup instead of dictating makeup. Oh, I haven't seen these. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's a cheek stain. Oh, that's for cheek, not yeah. lip. I, I, you can do Is it a multi thing? Yeah. Ooh. It's just like a, a water color sheerness to it. You so guys are pretty. watching us geek out <laughs> to the max. This is like, we could just stand here and talk about cheek texture mm. just forever. Oh, can I, I try mean, it on you? Yeah. <laughs> and I think what makes a great makeup artist is one who sees beauty everywhere. You know, and sees, sees beauty in many ways so that you're not myoptically only looking for beauty in one particular way or place. That's pretty. Like a magic touch. Feels so nice when you do this. Yeah. Thank you. What makes a great makeup artist is people who feed themselves creatively, you know, and, and have like interests that are broad. Look at art everywhere and look at inspiration everywhere. That's a great makeup artist. See the Hollywood sign, okay? It's pretty big. Well, I, I'm a morning person for sure. So I love early, early mornings. I love being up with the sun, like sunrise. I like the quiet of the mornings, but that's not to say that I don't love a sunset too. And especially, you know, getting to see in California such incredible sunsets, they're magic. This is my favorite time to kind of come out here and walk because, uh, yeah, the light is so beautiful. It's magic. Two years ago, two and a bit years ago, there was this thing in my mouth that was weird and growing and they checked it out and it was something easy for the oral surgeon to take care of. But there was a scan of my, my head that was, uh, that was ordered. The radiologist who read that scan detected uh, a cerebral aneurysm. So he called, he's like, good news, benign, uh, da da da, you have to go back to the oral surgeon. But the radiologist, and I remember writing down, detected a cerebral at, and I didn't know how to spell aneurysm. So I need to refer you to a brain surgeon. So then I started meeting brain surgeons and to understand how risky it was. So it was decided that it would be best for me to deal with it and um, not have this fear of a ticking time bomb in my head. So I, um, yeah, I had brain surgery two years ago. Yeah, I had my head cut open and they clipped the aneurysm and, um, and I'm great. Never been better. And I'm blonde as a result. It's a whole other story. <laughs> and I feel like it gave me, an, you know, a reboot. I'll call it a reboot. It was like, you know, a little reset button. Like, oh, priority shift. What's important? It's not like I do less now or I like slow down or something as a result, because I go, but I go more mindfully. So. so yeah, this is a recreation of Margot's look from the London premiere of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And I did a orange and purple eye and then a deep plum sheer lip. Margot has a really incredible, uh, rare face that I've come across that you can do anything on her face. I can do a very strong, almost black lip, 
um, like I did for, that was Suicide Squad, New York premiere. She's wearing Alexander McQueen dress that had a unicorn on it. So what do you do with a silver unicorn dress, right? You do a black lip, of course. Or she can take a crazy swatch of yellow eyeshadow. Um, that was the premiere of by Christopher Robin in London, I think. It's just very moving. It's, it's beautiful and it's magic and it's moving. It's, it's amazing. She was wearing this Brock dress that felt very like nightgown with little delicate flowers. And there was these little delicate flowers and there was a little yellow in there. And I'm like, we gotta tough this, toughen this thing up. This looks too soft. So yellow, yellow. Who can take that? Margot Robbie, she can, she can take anything. <laughs>